happy new year. Oh my gosh, it is 2022. It's just 2022. <laughs> Feels like it though, right? But it's not, you guys. It's the new year. How is everyone? What are your resolutions? Drop it in the comments. We're gonna do a little mental health check. How's everyone feeling? I love the new year vibes. There's always like this great energy of like, I'm gonna work on this this year. And I love that. So I don't know about you guys, but my resolution for 2022 is to be a sexy ass beast. And I've accomplished that already, so I'll be chilling for the rest of the year. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I'm a Virgo, so I have definitely have like 10 pages of goals that I want to work on. Anyways, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going on an HMAR frozen food haul. That's right, you guys. I'm super excited. I'm super excited. The thing with like Asian grocery stores is there's so many brands and you never really know which one to get. Like there's like 20 dumpling brands. But what I did is I went on the HMAR website and I sorted things by their best sellers. So that's how I know what are the tough things to buy. This is coming straight from the sources, y'all. This video, we're only focusing on frozen meals, things like frozen dumplings, frozen pancakes, frozen bows. Enough chit chat, we got a whole year to do that, right? Let's get started with today's HMAR food haul. All right, y'all, we are in the land of dumplings, dumpling heaven right here. And I've already spotted the first one that we want to get over there. So it's all the way up there, here with my short legs, right here. Um, this is the jumbo kimchi and pork dumplings. Oh my gosh, look how big and juicy they are. Yes, ma'am. Jumbo kimchi and pork dumplings. Woo, jumbo. Something about they either have to be really big or really small. No in-betweens, okay? Jumbo, can look how good they look. Okay, so I believe these are the mandus. Uh, yes, they're even shaped like one. I'm super excited to open this up and see how big they actually are. So here we go. <laughs> they are so big. Oh my God. Wait, do you guys see this? This is freaking huge. I don't even, what's a good size comparison? This is, uh, this is a regular cup, regular cup. It's kind of like, <laughs> it's so big. When it's cute, it's like, oh my God, it's so cute. When it's big, it's like, oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> when you put it to my face, it's small because I have a big face. Anyways. All right guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and cook these and let's see how they turn out. So you can steam them, boil them, or microwave them. I'll go ahead and boil them. I already have a pot and it's boiling. Let's put these babies in. They truly are jumbo. They look so good though, like so juicy, so packed with goodies. Um, I went ahead and cut one in half, so let's take a bite. Here we go, oh my gosh. I mean, there's so much filling in here. Here we go. Spice is cooking in. They're good. Pretty standard kimchi dumpling, just in a very massive amount. Dough is very soft, gives you a beautiful kick. You can taste all of that kimchi in there. You can taste bits and pieces of the pork, some bean thread noodles. Overall, not bad. I wouldn't say it's like super delicious, but I think the selling point is that they are gigantic. You can literally eat three of these and be super full. I'm not a big, kimchi dumpling person, but this is pretty good. The dough is so incredibly soft. So the verdict is, if you guys love kimchi dumplings, then you're gonna really, really love this. Um, it tastes like the kimchi dumplings that a lot of restaurants serve, except it's jumbo size. They're not shy with all the filling. Very good, very easy to make too. Okay, so these are the green onion pancake with seafood. It looks really, really good. Ooh, they look mini as well, instead of one giant pancake. So let's try it. Dun -dun! Korean pancake. So this is green onion pancake with seafood. It looks actually super delicious. I also love that they're like tiny ones. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Eat. There we go. Oh, wow, it smells so good. <laughs> the green onion was like, vroom, it's like a facial. All right guys, check those out. Look how cute they look. So you guys can see they're like mini pancakes, super tiny. 
You can cook these in the oven, uh, eight to 10 minutes, or you can fry them four to five minutes. I feel like anything that you can put in the oven, you can air fry. Uh, we'll fry this one just because I wanna get that like pancake feel where you're like flipping it and you're like, oh, oh, oh. you know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, oh. Them. Just a little bit. Mmm, they smell so good. I I burnt one side just slightly. I turned the oil a little too high. Starting the new year with some heat. That's what we're doing, okay? That's why. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of the peas. I love how tiny they are. They have a very sticky consistency. It's very almost like bouncy. That's what I love about Korean pancakes. Okay, so here we go. Dip in some sauce. Mmm. It's loaded with green onion, so when you bite into it, immediately it's like a green onion heaven. And I think there's like carrots. It tastes very much like an appetizer that a restaurant would serve. Yeah, very good quality, very easy to cook. Mmm. Okay, so there's crab, shrimp, and squid in here. I like the texture of raw, it's really easy to cook. Super easy breakfast or lunch. This is a thumbs up for me. Very good. Okay, so the next item, specifically we're looking for BB Gold crispy seaweed rolls. Um, they don't have the BB Gold one, but CJ Food and BB Gold is the same company. So hopefully this will taste just as good. So this is the crispy vegetable seaweed rolls. Mm, we love a crispy moment. Okay, crispy vegetable seaweed rolls. Ooh, these look so good. I'm so excited to try them. Mm. You know what kind of um, crispy rolls I really love? The Vietnamese string rolls, the crispy ones where you can like wrap it in veggies and some pickled carrots. Like, oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. delicious. Anyways, this kind of like reminds me of it, but it's not. Totally different filling. Um, this filling inside, it looks like a japje filling. Like there's a uh, noodles in there, a little bit of veggies. So to cook this, you can pop it into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes, or you can pan fry it four to five minutes, making sure you turn it frequently. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. Oh, by the way, you guys, so I don't know if you know this, but you will see this brand, CJ Foods. I believe that's like the parent company of all the br other brands that you may be familiar with, like BB Go or Annie Chung noodles. They're always in like the Asian section at the grocery store. So yeah, a lot of companies own these different brands, but they're all this, basically from the same manufacturers. So that's why we're getting this one because the one that was recommended to me was one of their branch brand, one of the other brands, but it's the same thing. All right, let's cook it. Here we go. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, uh, they look so good already. Check that out. <laughs> look at that. Little crispy rolls. Oh my gosh. The, ah! Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, the batter looks so good already. Like, I could eat it right now. Look at it. So cute. So tiny. Bing. This is a good size. You're welcome, guys. So, I almost burned down my kitchen cooking these. I had to cook these three times. On the scale of how easy it is to cook this, um, three out of 10, three out of 10. <laughs> I'm sure if you guys make this often, you're like, teacher, just do this. Okay, next time, I'm just gonna throw these in the oven because that was, my gosh, that was wild. It's a little crazy, huh? Now this looks really good. It's got a crispy outer layer. You can see the seaweed wrap and inside is the bean noodles. Hopefully it's cooked all the way through, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Mmm, oh my God, so Mmm, <laughs> wow. I was not expecting that. Oh, oh, it's delicious. It has all the perfect texture combination of like crispy outer layer when you bite into it. It's soft. And then you get that savory chop shape filling. And then at the very end of it, you taste the savoriness from the seaweed. All of it together is so good. I did not expect it to have that much flavor when I bit into it. Oh my gosh, okay. All that trouble was worth it. Almost burned down my kitchen. Took a very long time to cook it. But wow, that was worth it. Mm. Mm. Oh, here we go. I'm dancing. Mm. 
It says the ultimate crispy snacks. And they were right. That was freaking delicious. It's also a vegetable seaweed roll um, for my veggie friendly friends. I think it's the seaweed that gives it so much flavor. And the batter, it's like such a flaky batter. And inside, vegetable and bean thread noodles. Yeah, it's just so much flavor. I honestly didn't expect that. Delicious, very good, worth the trouble. <laughs> also, this guy's kind of fine, huh? Look at this guy, mm. God damn. Oh, <laughs> I make myself sick. I'm absolutely disgusted with myself. Moving on. Okay, so in this little island freezer, this is the brand that is supposed to be really good. The thing is, you guys, there's different spice levels. So this one says mad spicy. This one says crazy spicy. Oh, and I think this one is just like regular spicy. I think let's try the mad spicy, why not? But just know that there's also like original that's not too spicy. When I was researching, this brand also showed up. The thing is, I don't think it comes with like sauces, but they're supposed to be um, the flour cake, but inside there's cheese. That is so nice. I do have a sauce, a tepoki sauce that you guys can use. I'll link it here if you guys do buy this. Dun -dun! So this is dupoki. I'm saying that right. Okay, so this is the matte spicy one. This brand was recommended. Um, there's different levels of spice. So we're gonna do matte spicy and just see how spicy it is. Do you guys know that spice is not a flavor? It's just like a, it's like pain. So if you like spicy, you like pain basically. I see you guys. Okay, let's open this up. So the cooking instructions are inside. Everything is inside. I'm guessing there's like multiple packages. So here we go. Aya. Aya. Okay, there we go. All right, ladies and gents. First off, it's a pack of fish cakes. It comes with fish cakes. That's really, really cool. Flavor sauce, okay. Oh, it's the sweet flavor sauce. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that's the spicy, and then this is the sweet. And then the cooking instructions, and then the rice cakes right here. Da -da. That's what they look like. Oh, that's really nice that they kind of have everything in one like that. So to cook this, uh, move ingredients into a pan, except the fish cakes, add two tablespoons of vegetable oil and stir fry for two minutes. Oh, okay. And then you add water and fish cake and boil. Okay. 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 So for this one, um, if you want the rice cakes to like pull apart easier, you just soak it in water first. But I was lazy. I was like, I must put everything on there. It's gonna boil anyways, and it turned out beautiful. Okay, on the scale of how easy that was to cook, pretty easy. So you can actually adjust how sweet and how spicy you want it. I ended up putting everything in there. If I <laughs> take the whole plate, it will fall. So I'm gonna put some into my little cup. Super soft rice cake. Let's go. Mmm. That's mad spicy. <laughs> oh, they were right. Ah. <laughs> mm. Why well, do this to myself? <sighs> okay, so that sauce, the sweet and spicy sauce is delicious. Oh my gosh. I've made tepoki before, but like, I think the sauce is better. I'm just gonna say it. That um, sweet sauce, that is actually what is so delicious. Cause the spice you can get with gochujang or the powder, but then, the sweet sauce, that was really good. I think next time I gotta add more sugar or something in my recipe, cause wow. Um, the rice cake is also extremely soft. Uh, they cook really well, like, look at this. And I'm gonna try it with the fish cake and see how that tastes like. Mmm, no wonder it's a bestseller. I think for those of you who don't make Korean food at home a lot, or you just like, don't like to prep and you're really craving um, the spicy rice cake, this is great. This tastes really, really good. And it's that sauce, like whatever they put in their sauce, very delicious. The mad spicy truly is mad spicy. I'm trying to talk right now, but there's like fireworks going on in my throat. <laughs> but yes, this is approved. Oh my gosh, it would be so good if you put the kimchi mandu with the, um, in that sauce in Tepok. Oh my gosh. Amazing. 
since it's the new year, there's such good energy floating around. And one thing I want to work on this year is finding this balance between work and self-care. And thanks to today's video sponsor, Skillshare, for helping me with that journey. The class I'm currently taking is Mindful Growth, Pursuing Your Dreams with Self-Care with Mimi Chow. There's a beautiful workbook with exercises to follow along. My favorite is the lesson on creating a map for how I'm going to get to where I am to where I want to be. I'm a visual learner, so I love being able to see my journey, including noting things that's going to stop me from reaching my goals, such as self-doubt or burnout. Out. For everyone working on becoming a better you this year, Skillshare also offers great classes on building habits that last, finding creativity through living simply, starting a new creative career, and so much more. Even classes when it's time to unwind and relax and prioritize your wellness. The first thousand people to sign up using this link will get one month free of Skillshare. Let's make this year our best year yet. Okay, so I was looking for a very specific brand for the mozzarella corn dogs. I couldn't find it, so we are gonna have to improvise, but they have a whole bunch over there. Some of them just have mozzarella, some of them have fish cake, some of them have potato on it. This is the only one that has all of it, so this is the one we're gonna grab. And hopefully it's good, and hopefully we can air fry it. Ha ha ha. Ta okay, so the original brand that I was looking for, they didn't have. But this one looks pretty promising. Um, it's potato cheese corn dogs. It has the fish cake, the mozzarella cheese, and the potatoes outside. And you can air fry these. Here we go. Whew, this gets me all riled up. <laughs> air fry. Okay, but you can also um, fry these and microwave it. Yeah, but let's air fry these. Open this up and see. Ooh, okay. Um, they are individually packaged. Look at that. So they look like this. Wow, actually really decent size. If you guys watch the eating lunch at H Mart, they were selling uh, these like Korean corn dog things for $3.99 each and they were really tiny. I think this is actually bigger. I'm not sure, let's open this up. Oh yeah, this is much bigger than that one. And you get what? You get four of these for this price here. So it's actually a pretty good deal. Let's see if they turn out delicious though. That's what it looks like. Pretty good, yeah? All right, I put in my air fryer. 3.50 for 10 minutes. Boop, boop. I love the sounds that these things make. What should we do now? I'm gonna flip it halfway. Continue. Here we go. Oh my goodness, it actually smells really, really good. It looks really good. It looks so much more legit than like um, the pre-made, pre-packaged one at H Mart in the hot food section. So hopefully it tastes good. You know, we're always looking for that stretch. Here we go. Okay. Is it hot? It's okay. Ooh! Oh yeah, look at that. Do you see that? I know it's kind of overexposed, but here. It's so soft inside. Mmm. It kind of tastes like it was like freshly made in a way. I will say with the potato dogs, even when you make it by yourself, it's always hard to not like burn the potatoes on the outside because those often, they're getting like all the heat even when you're frying it, even when you're air frying it too. And so this, the, some of the potato pieces taste a little bit like way too crispy, but overall, this is such a good corn dog. It's really good. The inside is very fluffy. Mozzarella, can't go wrong mozzarella. And the outer layer gets very crispy in the air fryer. So very good. So there's a fish stick inside. Okay, verdict. That was very, very good. I really enjoyed that. Now, um, in my air fryer, I put it 350 for 10 minutes. I noticed that the fish cake is still a little bit cold, even though everything else was pretty perfect. Maybe put it in for 12 minutes. It might depend on like how strong your air fryer is but overall really good. Pleasantly surprised at how fluffy the inside was. Very great crisp on the outside. Potatoes could get a little bit dry, um, but everything else was really great. For the price, for what you get, pretty good. You guys have to let me know what's your favorite brand um, of the mozzarella corn dogs because a lot of brands sell it. Usually these grocery hauls, I mentioned before, it takes me three days to film. The first day is the shopping, second day is reviewing like half of items. Uh, I review until my stomach, either my stomach's like no more or the light is gone. So the light's kind of 
it's coming dark and it's already like 2 p.m. <laughs> but I'm gonna go take a break now and then I have an agent workshop. I'm trying to get an agent out in LA so that I can start auditioning by Coastally this year. So send me them good vibes, you know, manifest it. And uh, you guys let me know what you're working on. Yeah, drop in the comments what goals you have this year. Maybe just one thing. That way I can send you some good vibes. Look at us. Look at us! Working on our dreams, eating good food. I love it. Fantastic. Over here, there's like bows and stuff. And the specific one we're looking for is this. This item is actually a Japanese item, but you can get it at HMart and it's highly recommended. It is the chicken karage. And I mean, doesn't that look so good? It's actually quite tiny and it's already nine bucks. So this better be good. Ding! Chicken karage. Okay, so I know this is Japanese food, but it was highly recommended. And since you can get it at HMart, um, maybe you guys go pick one up. Apparently this brand's supposed to be really good and the great thing about this one is, oh wait, it doesn't have air frying instructions. I'm gonna put it in for maybe like 375 for, let's do eight minutes. So I don't like burn it on my air fryer. It's pretty strong. But you can microwave, oven, or toaster oven it. Oh, <laughs> this, is, this is their toaster oven. It's like, you know, the, you know what I mean. Okay, so for this little bag, I feel like this bag was actually pretty expensive, right? But this is how much you get for it. They look really good already. Like, I could eat them right now frozen. Now, if you guys want really good like chicken nuggies like these, the small pieces, the Costco lightly breaded chicken chunks, oh my gosh, they taste like the Chick-fil-A one and you just throw it into the air fryer. It's amazing, it's so good. Well, we're here to try this. So I'm gonna pop in the air fryer, tender, juicy. Did you know, TJ, um, when you're in the Philippines and you go to the convenience store, you can get like a tender and juicy hot dog, TJ. That's what that reminded me of. Oh, don't you guys miss traveling? <sighs> okay, so I actually put these in 400 for eight minutes. We're gonna flip it halfway through. Um, see if it needs a little more at the end. I'm also going to be ding, making this one. So this is Hopan. It's spicy japjae steamed bun. It looks really, really good. Um, the thing is, I'm going to use a steamer for this, but you can microwave it. You can also use a rice cooker. So you can put this in your rice cooker, heat for 15 to 20 minutes using keep warm mode. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So I can cook rice and put this in my rice cooker. I have a steam for 15 minutes. Kind of just want to microwave it. 15 minutes is a very long time. So we'll open it up and see. <laughs> wow, look at them. Oh, they look so cute all nested in there. Perfect buns right here. Oh, look at that. Huh? You know what? I'm going to microwave these. The trick to microwaving most frozen buns, you have to cover it with moist uh, paper towel to kind of like, you're kind of like steaming it in the microwave. So we're gonna do that. One bun is one minute. See, there we go. One minute, easy, ha! I just shaked it. The bun's going in, here we go. Boop, boop. I'm a chef. They're me cooking up a storm in my kitchen. I'm just microwaving things and air frying stuff. So we're gonna try the bun first. Um, for some reason, it looks like there's meat in here, even though the packaging just says it's a spicy japjae steamed bun. So I was thinking it's just noodles, but it kind of looks like there's meat in here. Anyways, we'll take a bite and see. Ready? It's super soft, by the way. Um, great texture, and all I did was pop it into the microwave. So here we go. I think there's meat in here, you guys. All right, one second. I don't see the meat in here, but it tastes like there's like pork in here. Either way, okay, my thoughts on this. I think it's just okay. Like there's nothing really woo-wee about it. You know what I mean? And even, I think even if I steam this, I would feel the same way because it's not the texture of the bun or anything. I think the texture is great, but it's just the filling. It's kind of underwhelming. Like when Trader Joe's tries to make Asian food, they throw in a lot of ginger 
And that's kind of what's going on with this bow. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just kind of, meh. I'm like, I'm not really sure why it's the top. It's just okay. Well, this is probably the first one where I was kind of underwhelmed by it. But anyways, on to the chicken. The chicken, chicken, chicken. Uh, I'm not even gonna put any sauce with it. It looks really just like flavorful by itself. It crisps up really beautifully. Again, I think maybe you can go a little lower, like 375 for a little longer, or I just put it in for 400 for eight minutes. Here we go. Mm. It's so good. This is phenomenal. Guys, this is amazing. So I know I was just saying, you know, get the Costco bread. You should get that. But this, the flavor is insane. They go a step further and marinate the meat. I think that's what it is. And the batter is so flaky crisp. Like it's not just like crispy. There's like a flake to it. And yes, it is so juicy inside and so flavorful. They definitely added um, some kind of like soy sauce marinade to the meat so that it tastes way more flavorful than like frozen chicken that you can pop into the oven or the air fryer. Wow, truly amazing. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I was just kind of like a herp de derp air fry and I popped it in my mouth and it was like, ho 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 These noises somehow make sense. You guys get what I'm saying, right? Delicious. They're tender, they're juicy, beautiful crisp, super flavorful. If a restaurant served me that as an appetizer, I would be like, wow, compliments to the chef. If you guys see this brand right here, uh, it's called Daily Pride. I'm sure they, if you have like a Japanese market near you or any kind of Asian market, hopefully you can find it. But if not, it is available at H Mart. Okay, we will do ramen another video, but I really want to get one of these noodle packages. And I looked and it looks like this brand is pretty good. There was another brand that I couldn't find. I think we're gonna get one of these. I was also craving it because it's kind of winter time. No one's really selling cold noodles, so we'll make it at home. <laughs> Yay, cold noodles. I'm super excited about this. I've been craving this. Um, Korean restaurants around my area, they don't really serve it. And they're also very expensive. So I'm pretty excited to see what it would taste like from the package. Here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up because I'm so excited. Ugh. Okay, it's very, very heavy. So this bag has two servings. There's two of these. What is it? What is it? Oh, it's the noodle. <laughs> and then two of these, which is the soup that it's gonna go in. Oh, it's Golden Bell mess Mustard Sauce. So you can make two bowls with this. Here, we're gonna use one. Oh, I don't know why I was expecting way more seasoning, but I guess the dish itself is pretty simple. So I'm gonna boil an egg and I have some kimchi and let's prep this together. So you have to boil water first, cook the noodles for 25 to 30 seconds. You wanna rinse the cold noodles and you kind of just assemble it all together. And that's it. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, so here we go, cold noodles. I've been craving this. I don't know what it is. I think when it's cold, you just crave cold things. So usually you can top it with some sliced pear and cucumbers, and you can also put some meat in it. And I remember correctly, I think when I ate it in Korea, they also had some ice cube around the noodles um, and the soup inside just to make it extra cold. This noodle here cooked so fast, literally drop in hot water and after 25 seconds, you're like, is it cooked? It's cooked, it's cooked. You definitely don't want to overcook these noodles. They're, it's all about the chew and the bounce. So here we go. <laughs> I was gonna blow on it, but it's cold. Mmm. Oh, it's pretty good. Mm hmm. Mmm. I think I overdid it on the mustard sauce. I don't even know if I was supposed to put the whole thing in it. I think I overdid it. I think that's why there's so much of that mustard flavor in there. But overall, very refreshing. The noodles are super soft, super chewy. Um, I don't have anything really bad to say about this, except I put too much mustard sauce. Was I even supposed to put it in there like that? Was it supposed to be like on the side or something? I put the whole bag in. I'm sorry. It doesn't say on the instructions. I would say if you guys are craving this style of cold noodles, um, this actually does hit the spot because the texture of the noodles, which is what this dish is really known for, is there. So 
if you guys are craving the like chew and bounce of the cold noodles. Mm -hmm. In the ingredients, cornstarch, soy powder, white pepper powder, beef leg bone extract, sugar, garlic powder, beef extract, um, vegetable sauce, pickled radish extract. Okay, that's why, oh, vinegar, soy milk, onion extract, uh, water. Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of like vinegar. It's like sweet and kind of sour. That's what the soup tastes like. Um, I added a bit too much of the mustard. I probably shouldn't even, probably didn't really need the extra flavor because the soup itself is already um, a little bit sour and sweet. I think with this kind of cold noodle dish, it's definitely about the texture of the noodles. So in that sense, this definitely accomplished it. So if you're craving cold noodles like me, give this a try. I didn't know if there was like a better brand for this. So if you guys eat this often or you know if there's a better brand, let us know in the comments. There's this other one and we'll try it next time. It, look, it was like a kimchi udon. It looks so good. We'll get it next time. Okay, so there are some items that I couldn't find. So I think in the next haul, we'll go to the K-Town H Mart, but I found pretty good amount of items today. Okay, the last item is this ice cream. Oh my gosh, I always see people reviewing it. It looks so good, but they have a brown sugar boba version. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna have to get this. It's always good to end the video on something sweet, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. It's brown sugar boba. Um, dessert sandwich. Ooh, it's a limited edition. I mean, I'm sure they just put that on, but ooh, okay, here we go. I, this is a very popular brand and I've seen people try the other flavors. So I think this is pretty new though. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's pretty big packaging. Oh, uh, it's like giant. Look at it. <laughs> Why is it so big? <laughs> I found Nemo. Stupid joke. Just, just get lamer as you age, you know? This is what it looks like. It's absolutely gigantic. Look at that. It's very cute. Um, right off the bat, I feel like the batter is like really bland or something, but hopefully, and it kind of already feels like there's way too much. Um, look at that. Like there's, oh, you can't, where's the filling? Oh, okay. So the filling's on this side. You can already like peel that off. <laughs> It's okay, we're gonna, I'm hopeful, okay? I was really excited about this one. So we're gonna go in at the mouth right here. Here we go, okay. Wow! Oh, that is delicious. Um, so there's the ice cream portion right here. It literally tastes like milk tea. It actually tastes more like a Thai tea um, than it does like a, bo a brown sugar boba. Uh, but it tastes very good. I'm just gonna like, you know, because I wanna see if there's stuff inside here. Let's see, let's see, you guys see? Okay, I see, so there's like the layer of brown sugar. Um, the boba inside of frozen stuff like this, it's not real boba, it's just mochi. That's how they can freeze it in there. So it's just a little layer right here. I love the flavor of brown sugar and it's there, it's there and it pairs so well with the milk tea. The boba, in here is a little strange because it's not chewy, it's crunchy. Usually when you buy brown sugar or boba popsicles or ice cream, the boba is actually like mochi, so it's very soft, but this is kind of crunchy, which is very weird. The boba in here is not good, but the brown sugar layer right here with the milky ice cream and the little fish outer layer, super cute. So I was kind of hating on like worse ice cream, but if you guys look right here, there's actually quite a lot of ice cream very cute ice cream sandwich. Maybe if you really love boba stuff, you would want to try it, but this is not something I would go back to buy. Maybe if I had gotten the other original flavors, I'd probably be like much more excited. It's just the boba in here that's throwing me off. It's a, yeah, it's like crunchy. You guys ever bite into chestnut and it's like, that's what the boba tastes like. It's not like mm, chewy. It's like, you guys understand what I'm saying, right? Okay. <laughs> and there we go, friends. That was a H Mart frozen food haul where we tried some of the top best sellers and must buys at H Mart, the number one Korean supermarket. <laughs> I feel like I'm like a commercial for them. But yes, there we go. Let me know in the comments below which of the items that we tried today would you love to try. Now this is only part one. I feel like, is this part two because we did the hot foods? No, it's part one. It's part one of the frozen food uh, video. Yes, in the next video, we're definitely gonna try more. But I think in the next video, I'm just kind of like gonna go with what looks interesting, what looks good instead of following um, whatever from the website. 
So that way we kind of get a variety of reactions, right? When it's all good, it's bad. Wait, no, 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 no. It can be all good and that's good. But when it's good and bad, that's also good. We're getting philosophical, philosophical, <laughs> philosophical. Ah! Sorry guys, this is day four of filming this. So it's about time to, it's time to get out of here, okay? Give this video a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next episode. And Happy New Year! <laughs>